So how do we uh, go from cheating to doing the things that we should be doing? We need, to use the, we need to communicate the standard. One of the things that we utilize at the Sheriff's Office is a standards manual. And I want to read one thing out of our mission statement. Build vital trust. By the way, we have some of these in the back. We don't have as many as we have people here. But there probably are enough for each organization to have one. Uh, build vital trust-based relationships and partnerships with our communities, families, businesses to bring all lawbreakers to justice and commend all those who do good. When was the last time you commended somebody for doing good that didn't work for you? A citizen. See, we want to communicate the standard. And what we, we've used the uh, standards manual. Then we also use character bulletins. Each of you have a copy of a character bulletin. I want you to pull it out. You have one there on dependability. Pull it out and, and uh, flip it open to uh, page three. Page three. You have five keys to building dependability because what we're looking at here is the challenge that we have on how are we going to go from this vision of building good character so that we can have both character and competency so that the structure that we have is not a one pillar structure that's going to tumble and crumble into a structure that has both pillars in place so that we can move forward with dynamic and concise activities and events that will produce this positive character qualities in individuals. And one of the things that we believe is that we want to encourage those that are doing good by praising them for the good character that they're demonstrating. Usually you see what we do when we communicate about someone that's done well is that we say, appreciate the good job you did. Thank you so much. Appreciate the good job you did, sir. Thank you so much. Thanks for the great job. That was a great job. And you can see all the variety here, right? Thanks for the good job. Appreciate your help. Those are the types of things we might say. When it comes to character, we want to work with the 49 character qualities, 49. We won't ask you to list how many you can think of. When I do that in groups, we get 7 to 12. But there's 49 different ones that have been identified. You know every single one of them. You just might not intentionally use them. And that's what the Character First Training is about, is how to intentionally use these qualities so that we can communicate this standard. It's not a new standard, but it's an old standard that needs to be clarified. It's an old standard that needs to be clarified. It's a standard that you really are probably living your life by almost exclusively or you would not be a leader. Because good leaders always are living their lives by good character qualities. And bad leaders are always living their lives by bad character qualities. By the way, if you've got 49 good ones, you've got 49 bad ones too. And that's not an exclusive and exhaustive list. But what we do right here with this uh, on page 3, I wanted you to look at real briefly here, is the five keys to building dependability. And what is dependability? It's, consenting what I, it's fulfilling what I consented to do, even if it means unexpected sacrifice. Fulfilling what I consented to do, even if it means unexpected sacrifice. <laughs> Have you ever had to sacrifice in a time frame that you didn't expect? Hello, is this is law enforcement. You know, all the time. The, ra the radio goes off, the telephone goes off, the cell phone goes off, and all of a sudden, we find that our day has been turned upside down, and, and we have been called upon to take action on things that we did not know were going to be happening. And so in this dependability category, we've got these five keys. Be careful what you promise. Anybody in here running for re-election sometime in the next four years? <laughs> Be careful what you promise. Clarify expectations. Get it done. Correct mistakes. Have a good attitude. You know, this, one of the aspects of this character first training is it is about attitude. Because these 49 qualities will produce a powerful, positive attitude. How many of you were in the training yesterday that uh, Chaplain Argel Dick did? You see him sitting right here. Anybody in that training yesterday afternoon? Handful of people? <clears throat> it's about this, this attitude problem. Have you, have you ever been around somebody with a bad attitude? Has that person ever been you? Nobody likes to be around a bad attitude, and attitudes are one of the most challenging things to correct and direct. The character first training does give you tools to direct an individual's attitude doesn't mean they're going to be perfect. Nothing is going to make that happen. But these are the five keys to building dependability and working with it in a powerful way. The other aspects that we have in here, and I mentioned the 49 character qualities, is we have pocket guides. We have pocket guides. Each of the pocket guides has all 49 qualities listed with their working definition. By the way, the definition that you do see there on de dependability is a working definition. 
It's a working definition, not a dictionary definition. Uh, because we're working with individuals who don't need the dictionary, they need the application. Now you can get to the application if you work with the dictionary, but we've already done it for you so that it's already in the definition. Fulfilling what I consented to do, even if it means unexpected sacrifice. I've made a promise, I've consented to do something, and even if it means I have to sacrifice to do it, I'm still going to get it done. And that really is a huge definition of law enforcement. It's a huge definition of what we do, is that we do fulfill what we consent to do. Not just us, but all of the men and the women that work for us and with us. Now this bulletin is published every single month. And they've just come out with a new series, and they've streamlined it uh, down from this number of pages to only four. And one of the reasons they've done that is because we've discovered that most individuals are not going to read this much stuff. And so we've just brought out the highlighted best points in the new bulletin, and then we've made access to a website, which is members.characterfirst.com, which is on one of the slides, so you don't have to write that down, where you can go to the website and you can find all the resources that are on that one word. And it is, it is extensive and very much detailed. that can be utilized in any training that you might be doing. The other thing is that we, uh, we give this bulletin to every single employee. Got 100 and 200 employees, we give a, a bulletin to every single individual, <clears throat> and we've discovered something else. Uh, a lot of times it goes home. It goes home, and the wife or the husband or the children read it off the coffee table. Because our goal, unabashedly, is to have an influence on the home. That's where our problems are coming from. They're coming from the home. That's where the problems... Does anybody have criminal or domestic violence in their area? Anybody got those kind of problems? Yeah, huge problems. Most, one of the most dangerous calls you can go on. And so our problems in our agencies are also coming from the home, and so we want to impact the home as well, not just the agency at the workplace. Now, we've also discovered there's another group of people. They get the bulletin, and, and, and as they walk out of the room, they, they toss it in the trash can. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. You know why? Because next month they're going to get another one, and next month they're going to get another one, and next month they're going to get another one. It's like the railroad tracks that we're running down here, the railroad tracks that they're running down here to deal with these aspects. We have character coins, posters, training videos. When uh, Sheriff Nash took office almost 12 years ago, two weeks later this headline came out, Sheriff Preaching Character. As you can see by the headline, the newspaper reporter did not think he should be doing that. I was in a meeting at the training room a, a few days later, and this had been not in the, only in the paper, it had been on every news, every news channel, all three networks locally. And the sheriff was there and he was saying, you know, I understand that many of you have gotten questions about what we're doing from family members, neighbors, concerns. What are we doing with all this character stuff and all of these uh, standards that we've set? But I want you to know something. I am unalterably committed to this direction. Boy, as soon as the sheriff said that, you could just feel everybody relax. It's like, you mean we have a sheriff that's not afraid of the media? A sheriff that's not spineless? A sheriff that's got a backbone? He's going to stand on the principles that he believes are true and right and just, and he's going to proclaim those principles to us so that we know what they are, so we know where he stands, we know what he expects, so that we can do what he wants us to do if we choose to, and most of them did. So it's a powerful, powerful tool that we've communicated, and it does take a leader to do it because there is resistance to that which is right. And we see it every day in the work that we do. This is the railroad tracks, the character bulletin. A little while later, Dorchester, third safest county in South Carolina. And we do have more than four counties, 46 counties. So we'll go to modeling the standards. <laughs> 